In this video, we're going to take a look at how to do some simulation testing. In particular, we're really looking at doing a beam deflection test. So you can see on the screen what it might look like. You can get several different values such as safety factor, you can get stress, you can get displacement, all kinds of values that you can get out of this test. Let's get started with how to take care of it. I'm going to start a brand new file. And I'll start with a sketch and just create a simple two by four. So I'll go with a rectangle, create the size of one and a half by three and a half. And then I'll extrude this shape to be 96 inches, which is eight feet. I'll go ahead and fit it to the screen and save the file. I'm just gonna call this two by four test. Next, we'll go to the design workspace and we'll change over to simulation. There are several different tests we can choose from. Static stress test is the one we're going to take a look at today. However, in another video, we're going to take a look at dynamic event simulation as well. So for today, you'll click static stress and choose create study. There are several items and options at the top, but what we're really looking for today, we'll look at materials, constraints and loads. As we go through the different parameters, keep an eye right here on the pre-check. We're going to want to make sure on this pre-check that we go from that red to green. Let's begin the study. First step is to choose materials. It does say same as model, but the tricky thing here is there are certain materials that are not going to be a very valid test. So I'll click the pencil here for edit and there's a drop down menu. You'll notice certain materials such as air have an exclamation point as well as other materials. Typically all of the woods are going to be like this and that's because you just can't guarantee consistency between boards because each tree is a little bit different. However, manufactured materials will give you valid results. So you could test MDF. There are several here to choose from. For now, I'm going to choose aluminum 6061 and press OK. We need to set our constraints. We need a fixed point. So I'm going to choose constraints and then I'm going to rotate the board around and I'm going to click the end of it. I'm going to zoom in on the end of it and I'm going to choose that as my fixed point. This is going to be a cantilevered board, so I'm just going to leave it as one fixed point. Then I'll rotate to the other side, to the other end of the board. And now I'll go up to loads. So for loads, I'll click the end of the board. And this is where things can change. Right here in direction type, I'm going to choose angle delta. And you can see that I can rotate that force. I'm going to just make it vertical. So for me, that's negative 90. And then for magnitude, your default, your default unit right here is change unit. Your default will be Newtons. I tend to use pound force. So I'm going to put something like 500 on there. And then I'll choose OK. Now, as you look up here, remember at the beginning of the video, I said keep an eye on this pre-check. Right now it's still red, but as soon as we click OK, we have the necessary parameters here set up that we can actually create a study to be solved. So I'm going to go ahead and take you through that process. I'll click the solve icon and then I'll be able to click solve study. This could take up to three to five minutes, a few minutes later. So the simulation is finished. I'm going to click close now and show you what it's going to look like. So you can see immediately it comes up with the safety factor and it tells us this, this is 2.83. We can actually go down to deformation scale and instead of adjusting, we can click in that box and make it say actual. This is a little more realistic than it would be. I'm going to close the safety factor box, the results detail box rather. We'll choose and look at some of these graphs. So here's a safety factor, but let's take a look at stress. Here's the stress test of what it looks like. And then let's take one look at displacement. See our max displacement, this beam deflected 2.701 inches 
that's a, a substantial amount of deflection. You can also take a look at the animation so you can drag these sliders and you can see where it begins to really get into the intense zone. So really cool stress testing and just a, a great easy setup to beam deflection.